Hey you guys, welcome to the Simple Squarespace walkthrough. I am so excited that you're here and I'm so excited to share this amazing content that we've put together for you. I really think that this is going to help you figure out exactly what you're doing. We're gonna walk you through it step by step of how to set up your own website that you've been dreaming of all along and I've just felt a little bit confused about. Um, really quick, my name is Danielle. I'm from Nova Strategics. We are a branding and website design company that helps creative entrepreneurs just like you get crystal clear on that business and personal brand that they're trying to do and carry that over in creating their perfect dream website. And it helps girls, guys, any creative entrepreneurs be fiercely unstoppable in the online world. Um, so again, we're so excited that you're here. Congratulations on taking this next step and building your own dream website. That's amazing. Um, and I am actually going to be going live on Thursday, the 31st of May at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, to answer any questions that may came up, come up along the way. So email us. Our email is info at novastrategics.com. We can be found on Instagram, Nova Strategics, and Facebook. Um, any questions that come up for you along the way, email them to us, send them to us, DM us, whatever it is, we will answer them all in the live. Um, come join us and if you can't, that will be recorded and we'll send it all out through your email. Um, and let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are at squarespace.com. Just a quick note about Squarespace. I know there's a big debate between WordPress and Squarespace. Squarespace. The reason I choose to use Squarespace for myself and for my clients is that it's a little bit easier to teach my clients how to manage their websites after we're done setting it up for them. And for you guys who are building your own websites, I just feel like it's a little bit easier because it doesn't require coding um, where WordPress requires a little bit more coding if you're trying to customize it. And a lot of common misconception about Squarespace is that it's not customizable and that's really not true. It just depends how much you want to do. Um, WordPress is a lot of a lot more templates to choose from and it can be very overwhelming for people who are not don't consider themselves designers. Everybody has a little bit of designer in them. Um, so Squarespace has an awesome 24-7 support system that I've used at 3 a.m. when I'm under a deadline and I always get an answer from them fairly quickly. And I, there's a ton of help videos on their own website for you to search through that I found very helpful. And it's very convenient if you are just looking for something that has like a, a quote unquote newbie. Um, okay, so this is squarespace.com. And for anybody who is completely new to a Squarespace, you're going to go to create a site. If you have an account or something, this is my account right here, this is my email. I can go into my sites for all purposes of this video though, we're gonna go as if I was a new member. So we're gonna go to create site. And this will pull up all the different templates they have. They have a lot of suggestions on the side here. Um, if you're designing a website, if you're an online store, if you're art and design, if you offer creative services, or if you're in entertainment media, maybe you're a band and setting up your own website, or if you're a blogger that blogs about food and drink, these might be common websites, templates that are good for you. Um, you can go in and favorite them, as I've done with some of these here, you can see and they'll all show up in my favorites here. So for this video, I'm basically going to build a website for my company, Nova Strategics, again, just because I have all of the elements set aside for it already, all nice and neat folders, and I don't want my clients to feel like I'm, use, I'm using their information for the purpose of this video. So let's go into, let's just go right into my favorites and see which one I want to choose from. Okay, and what I love about this too, before you even sign up with it, you can go into preview. So this one's called Anya, and you can preview this one and kind of see if you like the setup of it, um, see if you like the vibe it's giving off. You can go, so then even further, you can go into view template demo and you can see it on the big screen. So this looks like it's for a wedding, um, which is fine. If you like the way it's set up, it doesn't have to be for the specific thing that they're offering. It's just, it's just the layout more or less. But again, you can literally start with a completely blank page in any template that you choose. Um, I don't love this one, so I'm going to exit out of there. Let's go back and look at templates. I kind of like this one up here, not necessarily the colors, but we're going to go into changing the colors. 
Let's preview this real quick. Okay, yes, I like this one. Okay, so after we choose a template, we're gonna go with start with this design. Please wait. Okay, right after that, I guess since I am already signed in, um, it's just sent me an email that said, welcome to your new Squarespace website. It might, if you're completely new, it might prompt you to put in your information, such as your name and your email and what you're building the site for. Okay, so we're just gonna follow these prompts. Um, site title for now, we'll just call it Nova Demo. Site description, you can leave this blank if you want. Um, so the purpose of this site is, like I kind of explained in the beginning, helping entrepreneurs get clear on their brand and create the website of their dreams. I'm sorry if my typing is loud. I've been told I'm a very loud typer. Um, okay, so this is your website before it's customized, of course. On the left-hand side here, you have all the pages that you can build. These are all the pages that they already have set up, so we'll go in and customize all of those. You go back home, you have your design tab. That's how you really customize all your colors. You can change the spacing between all of the things you have set up here. You can change the font, you can change pretty much everything. It's just a matter of knowing where to find all of that. Um, in here is this is if you're any kind of e-commerce site, if you're a little shop, you sell t-shirts, you shall sell blankets, whatever it is, um, this, they make it very easy to um, incorporate that in their commerce section. Um, analytics will be once your website is up, you can see how many people are looking at each page a day, an hour. It's a little bit creepy. Um, you can see where they're coming from. You can see what they're typing in Google to get you there. And any subscribers that you get, you can see this here, but most of the time you'll see those subscribers through whatever subscribe, whatever email or um, service you're using, like MailChimp or anything like that. And then in your settings, That'll just be, you know, any kind of domains that you're using for it or your SEO or your marketing. That's just, again, just kind of more information here and also your billing and accounting. Squarespace is a paid service. They have a free service, but I don't know how great it is. Um, what's great about the, using their demos is you have two weeks to use it before you decide you want to pay for it. So if you really hate it, if you build your website in the two weeks and you absolutely hate it, there's no obligation to pay for it. You can go ahead and choose a different template if you want, or you can go in another direction. Um, they have two subscriptions as of right now. They have a basic one and they have, do have a business one. Um, I believe the business one is 200 something for the year. It comes out to be $12 a month and then, or you can pay $16 a month and that's completely month to month. So it just automatically renews it, but if you decide you don't feel like having your website up one month or if you're just taking a break from it or you're reconstructing it, you don't necessarily have to pay for it. And then this is, again, where you'll get all that customer service help that I was talking about earlier. It is really great. They answer all the questions. There's forms and forms and forms about everything that you could possibly need to know how to do. Um, and there is a number that you can call as well. So let's go back to our website here. We're gonna go and set up our pages first, and then we're gonna go and customize our colors and our um, theme a little bit more. Okay, so your first page is your home page. Um, generally, people do tend to have a bigger picture or some kind of heading picture, and it will brief and it will briefly go into what services they provide. So this is kind of whatever services they they're demoing down here. Um, this is a good place for they have it here linked to their practicing their practice or about us or you can have that link to your opt-in if you have one um, or you can do it for about us and you can do some kind of quote here or a little bit more about your mission statement and this would be another spot for your opt-in here it's kind of whatever you vibe and what you want so we're just going to keep whatever they have here and we're just going to plug our own things in so we're going to go into edit yes Okay, so 
here, this is not your logo. Up here is your logo where it says Nova Gemma. We'll put that in later. Um, so our, their mission statement, I guess, or their quick, very quick, brief statement of what they do is get ready to take control of your finances. So automatically, you know that that is a, um, a um, sorry, a, an accounting firm or somebody who's going to help you with your finances, obviously. So for now, I am going to put our little mission statement, pull it up from my notes here. Ours is a little bit longer than theirs, but that's okay. Um, we're going to center it. And we're going to, I kind of like italics here, so we're gonna put that in quotes. Oh, that's weird. Okay, maybe we'll have to customize that later. Okay, and now next we're going to put our header here, our header image. So this will pull up your back end of how do you put in your images. So again, that was just scroll over the image block, edit, edit again. If you want to change the size, that's where you'll go. Obviously, we're not going to use this picture or put text over it or anything like that. So we'll just exit out of there and we'll go to remove. So now we can go in and add our own image. So you'll have to see wherever you've saved everything. I've saved everything for the purpose of this video on our desktop in a folder called website demo. Um, I'll go to photos and I like to use one of these stock images for a heading more or less. Um, let's see which one I like. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, everything looks good. I don't wanna edit it or anything. I don't wanna make it smaller. So I'm going to click apply. Um, now you see how this, there's a really big space right here. Um, we can change that in the design element of it. So we'll go and do that later. Um, okay, so this is literally, it says right here, here's a description of your company. So you can say, you know, what your company does, or you can say, or you can leave that blank and you can put your opt-in right here, or you can go right into your services, whatever you want. I actually am going to take this out because I don't like the spot of this. So I'm just going to remove that. When it asks you to remove it, yes, click yes, but you can't, there's no edit undo, so you can't go back and do it again. You have to, you'd have to go in and put that button in again. So just make sure it is what you wanna do. Um, we don't need this right here. We don't need all these spacers. Okay. You know what, I don't really like this here. I want this to be more of a heading. And I feel like this should be more of a picture of us, of the, the company itself. So I'm actually gonna take this out for now. And I'm gonna go up here. This is, this. these are, I don't know the right wording for them, but these are um, how you add new content blocks in. So I'm gonna add an image up here as more of a, a header that will go across, uh, across my whole screen. So I'm gonna add the same image in there And I'm going to go to edit. We're gonna go to resize. Nope, not resize, my bad. We're gonna go to crop. And we're just going to get a little bit of this. Kind of like where's this boss lady? So I'll highlight that. Click apply, save. apply down here okay and again all these big spaces we'll go in and change that in design later but i'm going to make it go across the whole screen here okay so under here i think i want to put a 
big picture of us so that people start to, we start to resonate with people right away. And when I say us, I do have a business partner. Um, she handles a lot of our day-to-day -day design stuff um, and I'm more of the logistics. I don't know, we really have a hand in everything. Okay, so we'll pick one that, this one's pretty serious. Oh, this one's cute, okay. So we'll use this one. Okay, and I want it to be above those words. So when that black bar comes all the way across the screen, that's where it's going to land. So it is going to be above. And again, I, I don't want this all this white space here, but that's going to be in the design um, section of the, the video. Okay, so then right after this, so I think I'm going to put a button here or maybe words over it that say like get to know us or about us. Um, so I'm going to go to add a content block and I'm going to put a button and it's going to say um, learn more about us. Okay, so when we eventually do have our other pages set up, we'll click on this, click to add URL because we're gonna link it to our about page. So you'll go to content and you'll pick whichever page you want to link it to. Right now it's not set up, so we'll have to come back and do this, but that is how you do it. If you want to externally link to, maybe you have a blog set up or you're having a promotion about a sale that you're doing that's linked to somebody else, or if you're linking, or if you're, you do a lot of affiliate links and you are a blogger who links to um, an Etsy shop or something, you could put a link here to their website. Okay, so for now we're going to cancel that. I want this button to be on the side of this picture over here. So, actually it'd probably be easier to move this up. You want it to have that little bar right there, the little black bar. That'll show you that it's going to go right next to the button. If you have it out here, it's going to go all the way to the side and it's going to push every, all of those words over. But you want it to be right next to the button. Okay. And again, I don't want it to look like this for right now, but for right now, this is how it's going to be until we go in and design it. Now here, I will kind of want to break up. This is where I'm going to go and talk about our services, but I want to break this up a little bit. So I'm going to go to my content and I'm going to put a line in here. Okay. So now, so for us, I have a, I'm going to put a header here that says work with us. So I'm going to put in text and I'm going to say work with us. And I'm going to do that as a big heading. I don't really like that one, so I'll go with heading. That's too small. Right, we'll go with heading one for now, but we'll go in and we'll change the font later on. Okay, so this we're going to move right under the line that we just put in. Make sure we center that. And now, so they have words of what they do here. I don't really want to have words. I want to entice more people to click on our services page. And so we have images set up. So we're going to remove these blocks. And we're going to go add an image. And in my folder have set up of all of our website things. Under headings, we have all of our service box already designed. So first we'll do the branding design. Once that processes, you click apply. Don't forget to click apply. Okay, apply. And we'll just keep adding those images. So you do have to start a whole new block 
every time you want to do it. For right now, they'll go underneath, but again, we'll move everything around. Add image. Next is our website design. Apply, and we'll just keep going. We have two more to do. Image, add an image. Um, we have our VIP package. And last but not least, we have our grab and go services. Oh, that's right. For the demo, I did not want to include that in here. Okay, so that's okay. So we have our three images. So we'll just cancel this. We changed our mind, so we'll just cancel that. And we'll remove that block. All right, so now we want to put these all side by side. So we'll just drag this right next to branding design. Oh. Come on. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get a hold of it. Okay, for now we'll just put it here and we'll go in and rearrange them. So I'll just pull branding design over there and like that. At first when you are first doing it like you just saw me, it is it can get a little tricky sometimes. Um, finding that right black bar to set it and you'll click it and it'll be in the wrong spot and you'll freak out But you'll you'll figure it out again. There's no edit on do but you can go in and delete the block completely And it should reset what you are doing and you can go in and add it again Okay, so let me just show you really quick. I know the pages aren't set up yet But when you want to I want people to just click right on these so they'll be clickable images so you will go to design Scroll down to click through URL, click that, content, and it will, I'll pay, be able to pick which page I want it to link to. So again, I'm going to have to go back to that. But for now, just to show you, that's what it is. Okay, so let's take a quick look. This will be our heading that will extend our little mission statement about us. We're gonna change the color of this, not trying to have lime green here. Going into working with us, we'll choose here, we might have the images will be click clickable, but I'll probably add in a button here so people don't get confused and say, learn more about our services. And again, once we have our site set up, we'll go in and add the content. Okay, so down here, I'm gonna get rid of these spacers. But what I am gonna add is a line to separate that a little bit. Now here, I'm going to have our opt-in. So we have an opt-in set up right now and it's called the three steps to launching your dream business. So we do have um, an image for it. We're gonna get rid of this. Don't want all of these spacers here. Okay, so we're gonna add an image, but we're gonna do a different kind of image. We're gonna to go to design, and we're gonna have a overlap. So that would be an image with words next to it. You could do collage too. Um, I don't know, just doing overlap today. Okay, so you can change the position of this. If you wanna do it like that, you can keep it as an overlay like this. Um, actually, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, never done this one before, so maybe, I'll, maybe I will do this one. Um, and that's gonna to link to its different page where people will sign up for our opt-in, and I'll show you how to do that. And let's go with apply. Okay, so our opt-in again is called the three steps to launching your dream business. So we're gonna say, are you ready to build your dream website? Find out the 
the exact three steps we use to build our website. Drop your not drop. Fill out your information below and we'll send you your guide. I guess I'll put this, this last sentence in the subwriting here. Okay. And now we'll add our image. It's probably going to be another image of us, you guys. We used this one before, right? Okay, so we'll use um, the, ser the more serious picture. <laughs> okay, you can go in and edit this. I don't want so much white space in there, so I'm just going to crop that image a little bit. Okay, take some of this out, take some of that out, and click apply. And save. The longest part of the process. Okay, so now we're all set. You'll click apply. So here, you see how this box is white? We can customize that too, but again, it's going to be in the design part. Okay, so after this, <clears throat> excuse me, you want people to put their information in. So you have to add what's called, let me make sure I'm calling it the right thing. A form, yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna add a form. Some people call it um, cataloging. And you just wanna collect the basic, basic information for them here. You wanna make it super simple. You can link them to another page where they put their information in, but the quicker and less work they have to do, the better. So you're just gonna ask for their name. You can ask for first and last name. That's a preference for you. I tend to ask for both. Um, I'm not sure why, you just feel like it feels a little bit more serious, but you don't need the subject, so you'll just delete that really quick. You don't need a message, so you'll delete that. And so literally, this is all you need, is the name and their email address. Now, for if you go over to advanced, you'll see the button where it says submit. You can change that and say, send me my guide. or whatever it may be for you. you. Maybe you have a free offer you're doing or 10% off. If, if you're a clothing store, you can send them 10% off their first order and that's how you'll send them their coupon. But it gets people on your email list so that you have a bigger audience. And I want my button in the center. And now, okay. <clears throat> so you can send them to another page that's a, a more branded or on brand thank you page or that links them to another service that you might have in your or another freebie that you're giving away or a tripwire people call them um, for a really cheap giveaway that you're doing so you can there is coding involved you can put that here and send them to that other site i am going to do something separate about coding but for this purposes i'm not including any coding so here this is your thank you message so you'll just write thank you check your email for your free guide. Maybe you wanna put in there, um, if you don't see anything, check your spam or check your promotions. Sometimes people are getting, um, email services are getting very strict about sending people freebies and stuff like that. So sometimes they pick up on little words or pick up on how many links you have in your email or how many pictures you have in your email and they'll automatically tag it as spam. A lot of the times when you're a Gmail user, uh, my stuff gets sent in promotions and I could be having just one link in there or anything. So it's, it's very kind of hard to get ahead of that game sometimes, but that is that. Okay, so this is the message that will um, show up when they're done. Apply. 
Oh, I forgot to show you the storage. So how people, how you'll get these people's information. Edit form. Sorry guys, I'm having bad weather here and I think it's affecting my internet a little bit. Um, it's a little bit slow. Okay, so you'll go to storage. Now, these are all of the email services that they connect with. Um, so you can send it right to your email. This is the email that's connected to my Squarespace account. I don't want them sending it there because that's not my business account. I have a MailChimp account, so I'll click on MailChimp. Oh, premium feature. So when you are doing your, your trial, you can't set up your email yet. But this is how you'll do it. Once you get out of your trial and you're paying for your service, you'll click on MailChimp. And it'll bring up your login. And you'll, they'll have you select your list. So I'm just going to have this link to my three steps opt-in. That's what my list is called over in MailChimp. And now with the new laws that Europe put out, we do have to have require a double opt-in after subscribing, so make sure you check that. And now you're all set. So that's your opt-in, it's all set up on your homepage, so official. Um, and now after this, I don't really have so much other to say. I have a link to my About Us, I have a link to all my services, I have my opt-in all set up. So the last thing I'm gonna do is kind of put my, I'm gonna put my social icons right under here so people can follow us on um, social media. And then right after that, I'm gonna do a general form for our general email list. And that's actually gonna show up on all of our, um, sorry, on all of our, Pages. It's it's considered a, a footer and or a header, and that'll show up on all your pages. Okay. Take this out. Save. So since we're working in the header, we want to go down here or footer. Excuse me. We want to go down here and edit this. So it's not in your main page, or else it won't show up on all your pages. You want to go down into your footer. So you'll edit this. Um, if you have any kind of free consultation, definitely put this here. We do discovery calls, so it's kind of similar, but we don't really do that right on our homepage. We kind of tend to do it more when people are looking for our services. Um, but maybe I should put it on my homepage. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, okay, so here I'm going to put in my social icons. Um, let me get rid of this for now. And those are right here, social links. And over here, you will see which ones you can do. Oh, this is not what I wanted. This is directions. This is again, the great customer service that they have. That's not what I wanted though. Okay, so I do want it in the center. I want them extra large. And I want them, let's see, those are kind of cool. Those are pretty bold. Ooh, those are cool. Okay, and yours might be a little bit more on brand, um, whatever you choose. Yes, that didn't work. Okay. Um, and once you do have your official site set up, you can go into here and learn more about connecting your actual sites, but those are your buttons here. Um, and you you can go right into edit. I'm not gonna link my accounts right now for time purposes, but that's right where you would go. Okay, and then right up, I guess I'll do it above that because we just asked for your email information here. Um, we're going to, so when you're doing a, your general email list, it's a little bit different because it doesn't, you don't need to, it's not necessarily your opt-in, so they actually call a newsletter, and that's how your, so newsletter form, this is going to be our general email list. Sign up with your email address to receive news and updates. Um, I usually say something like, 
you know, sign up for our email list, just continue receiving newsletters or and more exciting freebies from us. Um, and you'll want to require the name field because you definitely want to get through your name. And your disclaimer, again, with the GDRP that Europe just put in, you'll want to put your link to your full privacy policy that people can see. And it's actually required now, so make sure that you do that. And how you would do that is you'll just, we respect your privacy, okay? Or you can say, read our full policy here. You'll highlight that, put a link in, and that's right where you'll drop your privacy policy. Um, okay. On the title, that's what's actually gonna show up. It's coming right here. So um, we'll say, join the Nova tribe. A little bit more enticing. We'll click apply, add storage to this. So again, we have to go to storage and link our email account. So again, we'll go to MailChimp. We'll sign in and we'll click, we'll pick a list. So we just want our general email list and apply. And that'll show up right here. So this is how all of your um, pages will have this and this and whatever heading you have up top. Okay, and that's our homepage. If you wanted to break this up here because you are asking for an opt-in here and then you're asking for their information here, if you wanted to break that up, you could switch around your opt-in and your services if you wanted. Um, that's totally a personal preference. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our About Us page. We're starting with a blank page right now, except of course our standard footer. Um, if you're starting a new demo, you probably will have a picture and, and um, writing on the side here, but I just went and deleted that. I want to start with the blank page. So we're just going to go into edit. We're going to, I don't like these spacers here. I don't know why this demo has so many spacers. Get rid of this line. Um, up top, I'm going to write, get to... No, the new girls. And I'm going to make that a main heading, center it. Okay, now I'm going to add another content block out of here. I'm gonna add a main picture of the two of us. So it's probably gonna be that picture that we've been using. Where are we? Photos. We use this one. Okay, and then under that, I'm going to put our little blurb about us. I have that saved in our notes. This is kind of like our story in terms of why we started our business and why we want to help people and all that good stuff. And then under that, I'm going to add another picture of... I'll do the meet Danielle. Literally the longest part. <laughs> okay. And I have some content written just for me. Yeah, pro tip you guys, if you have all your content written out beforehand, it's gonna make things just flow so much easier and faster for you. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. And we'll go in and add Jenna's picture. We took these pictures in a coffee shop, fun fact. Um, and I love this coffee shop. If you guys are from the New Jersey area, I would highly recommend it. You can message me and I will give you the name. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, text. And 
See, you guys, so easy. You didn't have to think about this. Oops. Again. Okay. So now I have all my content up there, but I obviously want to rearrange this. I want to move this up here. Switch that. So all I'm doing is dragging and dropping, you guys. I want to move this over here. And then I want to move this. Okay, so you see how this is all kind of messed up here. So we want to add, we want this more in the center. Or what we actually could do. I'll, sh I'll show you guys how to add in spacers. So you're just going to go to content and add spacer. And it's going to just move everything down. But yeah, see, it kind of messes with this side a little bit. So what I'm going to do actually is take my content, copy that, go in and edit the picture design, and do it like a card so that the content will show up right on the left or either either side you want. We're gonna write it in right here. And we're just gonna get rid of this. We're gonna do the same for her. Design into card, but we'll leave her the opposite way, post that there, get rid of this text block, and move her up. She can stay on the side, right here. We'll probably add a spacer here, break that up a little bit, and we'll do a line. So now they are semi-even. You can even add the line right here if you wanted to. Yeah, make things a little bit bigger. That adjusts everything. If you don't want to do that, you can get rid of that. So for now, I'll probably leave it like this, and I can always go in and adjust everything later. So what's very important about your About page, you always want to lead people to your next page, basically. So our next page is going to be, now that you know about us, we want you to get to know our services a little bit more. So we're going to add another button and we're going to say learn more about our services. And again, once that services page is set up, you'll go in, click to add URL and lead them to your services page. This, let's see if we can move this to the middle. Might need to add a spacer in here. Let's see, spacer here, spacer here, and now the page should be even again. There we go. Okay, so what I did there was I kind of just leveled out the page. So you see how these two pictures are kind of, um, one is more above the other. So I just had to even out the page so that this would know where to go, or else it would be directly under this picture or directly under this picture. So all I did to do that was just add two spacers in on this side and one spacer in on this side, and we can get it in the middle. Okay, so that's our about page. Make sure we click save. Now next we're gonna do our services page. We're not gonna use their pricing page. We're gonna obviously customize it, but we're gonna have sub pages under that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do add and add a folder. There's a difference between adding a page and a folder. A page has no sub pages. It's just what you see is what you get. So our About Us page and our home page is just a page. But our folder is a page and you can add subfolders in it or sub pages in it. So this is gonna be our services. We're gonna move that below the About Us. And you're gonna add a page to the services page. And this is gonna be your first services page. So our first services is branding. And you can pick your basic layout. It really doesn't matter 
unless you're doing like this is a very convenient page for a contact page that we'll use later. If you want it a certain way, you can. Um, we're probably going to do, I have some headings, so we'll do this one. Um, but again, you can kind of delete those text blocks if you want. So while we're here, we'll just edit this really quick. So this image is going to be our branding header, desktop oh, headings. I have my all of my headings in one, sorry guys. There, there in one document it's just easier instead of saving all of them so all i'll do is i'll just go in and edit this image when it loads go to edit edit and i just want the branding design header so i'll just do this Apply, save. Every time. Okay, and then I just want to move this up a little bit here because I don't want to put any rating under there, but I don't want to do it too much because you saw it, it got rid of got rid of um, some of the image. I just hit apply. Okay, so I'm gonna take out these two detail things just because it's just not the way I want that set up. So I just want one block. So you can you can leave it in as detail too or however they have it here. I'm gonna go over to my write-up. So this is just a little blurb we have about our branding design, why it's important. So we'll put that in here. You can change your heading to uh, about branding if you want or whatever it is. And then I have our next is that we go into what's included in the package and how it works. So we're gonna add, we'll take this spacer out, but we'll add a text and we'll add what's included and how it works. We're gonna add that as a heading too. Um, and then we actually have photos to put in here. It's just how we chose to do it. It, it breaks up a little bit about the, um, it breaks up the, the wording a little bit. So we'll just go into images. This is something we all made in our programs. There's four different steps to the package, however you want to do it. If you want to do photos, wording, however you want to do it is fine. Um, if you wanted to make these bigger all, bigger, all I would do would be crop the photos again and just set them as four separate photos, but I'm just gonna leave them like this. It is a little bit small, so I might go back and readjust that later if I want to, but for now I'm gonna leave it like this. So this I'm gonna just quickly center. Um, then under here, I'm going to do the next step in the process, oops, one thing, in the branding process would be package details. So that's where I get into um, how much it costs and all that kind of stuff. Who it's for. Center, heading two. Um, Again, super, super easy if you have everything right now already. Okay, and then I just have a little disclaimer that I like to put in. If you have anything similar, here would be a good spot to put it. Okay, so now basically our branding design page is done. Um, I don't need anything here, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. And I'm gonna get rid of this. Now remember what I said about linking people to the next page. So I'm going to link them to see our other services. You can either do see our other services if you want to direct them right to a, a different service you have, then you can do that here. So learn more about 
our sources. Or actually, here's a good place to, to link them to sample work if you want to have a portfolio page. I'm not going to set that up here. But what I will do is I'll make another heading. Um, and I'll just do sample work, do sample branding work. And I'll just add a few images that I have. for branding specifically. This is a brand mood board that we did. Um, I'm gonna add another one in here. Oh, okay. And Which one did I just add? Okay, this is just another color palette that we did. And we'll do, just put these side by side, put this above here. And I don't want these to be so big, so I'm just gonna add a spacer in on the side here. Just gonna make that a little bit smaller. I'm gonna add another spacer in on this side, make it even. Move these over. Get them semi-even. And that's that, okay. So the branding is done. So see that. And we'll add another page and that page will be our website design. We'll do the same page setup, this one. We'll go and start editing. And that's literally the same thing that we just did, um, but just for website services. So go to our headings. Oops. We'll use this header, slightly different than the branding one. Just move that up a little bit. Um, like it's uneven, so we'll just push this spacer out a little bit. Get rid of the text here. And well, I guess we'll leave that one in. And first is just a little intro. Go about website design. Space it there, I guess we could leave that in there. Text, we'll add a heading to details. Center it, heading, and let's see what I have next. Okay, yeah, I have photos for this one too. And I'll add my images in here, right here, and then down underneath here, <coughs> excuse me. I will add the about the package. And whatever it is. So here you'll notice I have looking for branding website design together and I have a link right to my VIP services, which would be the next, next package. So basically all I need, would need to do is add those images in here and website design is complete. 
Okay, so you would just, as many services as you would have, you would keep going underneath there. And on your main services page, you'd have to go back and design that as well. So we don't need this page anymore, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that page. If you wanted to add any facts, this is very similar to the about page, but this I guess it would be more of if you're selling products, you can go into detail about where your products come from or anything like that. We don't need this page, so we'll delete that. News and notes, if you wanted to do a blog, you could keep up with them there, but um, for this, I'm not gonna show you how to set up a blog. It's a little bit different. If you wanna know more about that, you can message me and I can talk about that in the live. Um, testimonials is a very good page to have. If you have any testimonials, this is where they would go. I actually am collecting some right now, so I don't have any total to put it up right there. So we're just gonna leave this as it is right now. I actually actually kind of like this setup. I would probably add like a little picture of them somewhere if they were comfortable with that, and whatever quote that they're having, and yes, their name underneath here, and probably their company. <clears throat> and if you're also a web designer or, um, any kind of like where if you could link to their services at all, you can definitely do that. Schedule an appointment. If you needed to schedule a discovery call or if you, and you could, you could add your calendar right in here. If you wanted to schedule, if you're a doctor making your own website, you could have people schedule your appointments. So that's very, um, very, very convenient to have. I'm gonna take that page out for now. You could always add that back in. And then your contact page. This is just very basic setup. Um, you can go in and customize all of these to more. So this is a form. So you can edit that to your specific questions. So if you're offering um, certain services like me, website design, branding, and our VIP packages, I can ask them which packages they're most interested in just to, so I know how to, if I'm jumping on a call with them, I kind of know how to gauge my call, or I know how to um, um, talk to them to, for the specific service that they're, they're asking for. So we're gonna go in and edit that. They're asking for all of these options, so we're just gonna delete these. And we're gonna say um, branding. I think I spelled that wrong. Website design VIP package. And you wanna make that required just to get people more engaged. I guess you don't have to if you don't want to. And if they want to say anything else, you can make that part optional. And you'll just change that. If you wanted to ask for anything additional, like their phone number, if you are going <clears throat> to schedule calls, you can, there's a spot for that. You can, I'll show you how to add, add form fields. It'll bring up a whole different options. Um, you could, like we were just doing checkbox, if you wanted to just do text, or if you want to have them select options from a drop down menu. That's how you would do that. So we're just going to get out of this and apply. You can change your submit button to whatever you want. And you change your, the advance and the advance you change how you're receiving that. So we're going to get rid of this. Um, get rid of that. If you wanted to add another picture anywhere, you could. Um, if you want to add more text, like I might put in here something about we want to hear from you, looking for help in your branding or website design, reach out to us to schedule your Discovery. And again, you can, like, I use Acuity to schedule my discovery calls. So you can actually go to Acuity, link it all right here, and they can just go, they can schedule their appointment right from your website, and they don't ever have to do anything. They don't ever have to leave your website, and that's convenient. If you want to know about that, ask me about that in my life. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this part. 
Okay, so basically your about page is set up. So let me talk about, this is your main navigation, which means that all of these things that you see here will show up in your toolbar, which is over here, drop down menu. So it's all accessible right here. Um, we're gonna set up, that's it. They, this is how this demo has their toolbar. If you wanted it to show up here, I'm not sure if you can change it in design, we'll find out in a little bit. Um, but those are all the options that are gonna show up in your toolbar or your drop down menu. Now these are not linked pages, are all pages that are gonna show up. If you have any links to pages that you don't want to show up in your home page basically. So if you wanted to have more sample work that people don't have access to directly from the home page and you just want it through your brand design, you can have a link to that page in the not linked section. Um, and right now we don't have any more in here. Terms and conditions, this is footer navigation. So terms and conditions, you would update yourself on your own policies and procedures, again with the F, uh, the Oh, GDP, GDPR, you have to have this accessible to all your clients, no matter what kind of service you do, if you're doing work with, or potential work with citizens in Europe. It's a new law that they passed. Um, and you could also get rid of this thing that says powered by Squarespace. Um, I don't think it really matters if you have it here or not. It's totally up to you. Okay, so that is basically how you set up the skeleton of your website. So all your content's pretty much there. We're gonna go into design. So this is kind of like the really fun part. The first thing we're gonna do is put in your logo. So you can add a tagline. So our tagline is Envision Create Become. We go in and add our logo. This is where it starts to feel really like yours once you have your custom logo in there. And we're also gonna add our favicon. So our favicon, it will show up right up here in a bunch of different places when you search. So this is kind of like our alternative logo, if you will. And then here you can add any kind of social sharing options that you would have to. So we're gonna save that. Uh, there it is. Okay, so now we're gonna go out of the logo, go back to our design, and we're gonna go to style editor. This is how we're gonna adjust all of our colors, all of our settings, make our, our logo bigger, our fonts smaller, change our fonts, all that fun stuff is all in the style editor. Give a second here. Don't forget to keep writing down your questions because our live is happening on Thursday at 6 p.m. Email them to me, direct message me them. Whatever questions you have, I'll be more than happy to ha answer them live with you on the live. Okay, so we're just gonna go through the list here. Site background is white. If you wanna change it to any other color, you can. If you have a very light gray color you wanna put in there, go for it. I am going to leave it white. Header padding. This is how much space between your header up here and your first image. So we're gonna leave that pretty small. Header background when scrolled. I'll take that off so I can show you. This will just bring your header down with you as you keep scrolling up. I don't like the way it looks, so I am going to leave that on. And our background color, you could change that on our website. I think we have it as, let's see. I don't know, actually. And our background color. That didn't do anything. <laughs> we'll leave that for now. Full bleed images, video, and gallery. Yes, you want to leave that on. All right, so your site navigation. Okay, so font. If you wanted to change the font, you could. I do like the Roboto, um, but let's just change it so you can see something different. We'll change it to Ropa Sans. 
Okay. You can also input your own Google fonts or any fonts that you find. It's just a little bit tougher, um, but there is a way to do it. Twitter nav size. So if you wanted to make the font here bigger, you can. You can change this. If you have custom colors, there's an easy, most of the times it'll come in HTML, so you'll get like basically a pound sign and, and a bunch of letters and numbers, but there's a site where you can convert it to RGBA or whatever shows up here. It could be um, um, HSLM or whatever it is. So I'm going to change that. Spacing is fine with medium. High rate column, yes. If you don't want to do that, it shows up your options here, but I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so this is talking about logo. So we definitely want to make this bigger. Pretty much as big as it can. And then I'm going to want to go up and adjust that again. So that was the header padding. Just want to move that down a little bit. Okay. If you wanted to have a search bar, you could. I don't, I'm not, I'm gonna take that out. Um, you wanna show your social links, site-wide fonts. Okay, so this is all those headers and all of these. You can change all of them. So let's say this was what? Heading one. Okay, so we want to, let's make all of our headings a little bit bigger. And we're going to change the color. I don't remember my color coding off the top of my head, but again, you can change it to literally whatever you want. You can make those site wide or you can just do them for page. So I guess right now, let me just leave them black because I don't know my codes. Um, and you can change the font in here too. So you can make that whatever you want. And that will probably change for the whole site wide. Now you can click on this section here and you can change this font. Let's change this block color, please. So ugly. And we can make that black. We can make it a deep gray. whatever you want, something that's on brand for you and your company. Text color you can change, and the font you can change. I'm gonna leave it like that though. You can make the font bigger though. If you wanted to do that, you could. We'll do that for now. Make it super obvious. You can change the spacing between your letters. Whatever you want. Okay, we'll save that. What else would we want? Oh man, this looks really big. <laughs> I don't want them for all the buttons. All right, so now we want to do... And again, I'm just running through all these things so you get to see everything, but then you can, you can see why it takes some people forever to make their uh, websites because you can go back and change it as many times as you want. Like this black thing, I don't like it black. I want to go back and do it white. So we'll go to header background, make that white again. Um, we want to change the footer color. So we'll go down to here. We'll make that black. And if you click it too, it'll bring it up for you. Getting rid of all this green. Okay, 
And again, you can make them literally whatever color you want as long as you have those codes. Okay. So let me see if there's anything else I wanna change about this page. I think I'm okay for now. So I'm gonna save. I wanna see how that affected the rest of my website. So we're gonna go back into our pages and go to About Us. Okay, cool. All right, good, good, good. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wanna leave the button this big, but just wanna dramatically show you how much you can change this. Okay, save, remember to save. And we'll see how that affected our other pages. Oh, I wonder why that happened. Let's go in and resize that. Go to edit, resize, and bring that down to thousand. Okay, there we go. Okay, so again, you could go in and customize this page as well and fix the font just on this page as well, the colors, all that kind of stuff. The stuff that's going to need, be major that stays the same is all those button colors and is all those, those fonts, um, main fonts on each page will stay the same unless you go in and change them. But you can change some of the custom things. You can bring these pages out. You can um, adjust the sizing of the pages around. So from page to page, there is some things, but there are also some things that will kind of stay the same throughout. So that's style. Oh, we're gonna wanna bring that down. Yeah, there it goes. And then, okay, so if you go up here, this will bring down what your site's gonna look like on mobile. So then you might wanna adjust things more after you see it from here. You can go to see your different pages. So this still isn't right, so you wanna fix that again. This is how it'll look on your mobile. And this, I think, is supposed to be a tablet, and this will be your desktop. So I work mainly in the desktop view, um, just obviously because I feel like that's a little bit easier to edit. But I do make sure I always look at the uh, mobile views just so I know that it's still all good. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I know that was a lot. I feel like I was talking forever. Um, I do apologize, but I just wanted to make sure that you're getting everything that you need to kind of set up the skeleton for yourself. And again, as I was saying, you can kind of see why it's gonna take you a little more than the length of this video to set up your custom website because there's just so much to it. There's so much you can change and there's so much you can adjust and there's so much you can manipulate and um, just make super custom to whatever you're doing. And all those colors you can change. You can change the color of this, you can change the color of this and that, and then making sure everything kind of flows and making sure all those links are set up. Actually, we'll do that really quick. So we'll go to our home page. We'll click in on these pictures here. Design. Click to link URL, so we'll want to set it to our branding services. And we never set up the VIP. I'm trying to keep it as short as possible here, guys. I can go on forever and ever and ever. Uh, design, go down to click through, and go to website design. So again, once you make all those pages, that's where you'll go to do it. And then our services page, Oops, content. Okay. This is set up, uh, learn more about us. We'll wanna set up content. Okay, about us, and that's that. And you'll have to go through your whole website. Make, thing, make sure all things are clickable. I recommend um, before you're launching it, 
you know, send your link to a couple of your friends, make sure they can navigate through it, make sure it's easy to them, if something's confusing to them, make sure you go back in your back end and kind of adjust to ask them to look at it again. That's just a good way to make sure everything's up and running. All right, so just really quick in your, sorry, not your analytics, in your settings, this is where you'll do your custom domain. With your with a Squarespace membership, you do get one free domain. Um, if you don't want to do it from them, that's totally fine. I actually did mine through GoDaddy. I think they're like $10 for a year or something like that. So you can either do get domain through here, um, or you can go to GoDaddy, and that's there's a whole way to incorporate that domain in there. If you want to know more about that, send me an email, and I'll kind of go over that tomorrow on Thursday rather. Um, they do have a really good help video of how to do it. It takes sometimes 24 hours to do if you're getting it from another site to transfer over to this site, but it's, it didn't give me any problems at all. Um, so this is kind of where you would go to do that. And then once that's all set up, your site will be officially live. You can send people links and it won't say squarespace.com slash Danielle Marquesi or whatever your name is. Um, if you wanted to incorporate some SEO, some keywords, some Google search words, that's where you would go to do this. And I think that's all I wanted to cover with you guys. Yeah. Okay. So that concludes our little training here. Not so little um, training of how to set up your simple Squarespace website. Again, I hope this kind of helped you get clear on the basics of setting up your website. I know there's a lot to it. Ask me any questions you have. We are more than happy to help. Um, if you can't make the live, it will be recording. So still email me your questions and I'll try to answer as many as I possibly can. I definitely look forward to chatting with you guys. I look forward to connecting with you guys. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Um, we're always sharing more freebies in there. If you guys have more things that you need to know about, please reach out to us and we'll help in any way we can. But thank you so much for being here today. Um, and I'm so excited for you. Congratulations again on making this big step in creating your website. See you later, guys. Bye.